The prison for criminals in Gotham City, Arkham Asylum, is shown in the beginning of the film during a violent thunderstorm. The detainees may be seen lazing around in the leisure area. In the middle of a game of bingo, Penguin becomes irritated by a fellow inmate who asks for his assistance in escaping the jail in exchange for sharing half of his secret cache of stolen money, which is safely stashed away in a crypt in the Gotham Cemetery. The guards then inform him that the Joker has actually escaped the asylum after he confesses to Penguin that he told the Joker before him. In the ensuing confusion, the Penguin manages to take down a guard and escape the facility by stealing his keys. The Penguin approaches the Joker as he is walking toward the graveyard and offers to divide the money in order to prevent any trouble. After shocking the Penguin with his electric buzzer to kill him, the Joker flees to the graveyard where he runs across Batman, his greatest foe, who has been informed about the breach at Arkham Asylum. When the two of them arrive near the water canals in Gotham City during their cat and mouse game, Joker attempts to electrify Batman with his buzzer but instead falls into the water and electrocutes himself to death. The Penguin, on the other hand, arrives in the graveyard and looks for the location of the hidden treasure that his fellow prisoner had mentioned. When he enters the crypt after finding it, he discovers a coffin that is tightly bound. He unintentionally slashes his palm against the blade as he uses his umbrella sword to pry it open. When he opens it up, he discovers a dusty mummy inside. There is no indication of the money. He is unaware that when a drop of his blood touches the corpse's heart, it revives Count Dracula, who had been driven from Transylvania to Gotham City following his defeat. Penguin is chased out of Dracula's tomb by the vampire, who is bloodthirsty. He does, however, restore his strength by feeding on the cemetery's night watchman. He gives the guard's corpse a vampire makeover. The Penguin is then hypnotized by Dracula into becoming his human servant. After that, Bruce Wayne meets with journalist Vicki Vale for an interview at a nice restaurant and informs her about Wayne Industries' latest project involving alternative energy sources. However, as they both enjoy one other's company, the interview changes from formal to friendly. As his date, Bruce asks her to a party at his estate. The sudden disappearance of humans, or lost ones as the media refers to them, worries Batman. During his nighttime patrol, Batman sees a woman being robbed. A guard who is actually a vampire who feeds on the thief's body overwhelms the thief. Before Batman can step in, the officer strikes the woman while pretending to give her the bag back. Batman battles the vampire guard, who is now joined by the woman and the deceased thug, who have now turned into vampires. Batman recognizes their incredible power despite being outnumbered by them and escapes while enticing them to a collision with a train. They manage to avoid it by disappearing, confusing Batman. The following day, Bruce discusses his worries about vampires with Alfred, who is busy preparing for the business party that evening. Bruce mingle among the elite of Gotham City with Vicky on his arm as his date. After sundown, when the Penguin awakens Dracula, he declares to the vampires in his lair that he will rule Gotham City with their assistance. Unbeknownst to Bruce, Dracula is intrigued by Batman's belief in bats and arrives at the party dressed as Dr. Alucard while claiming to be a cultural anthropologist who recently relocated to Gotham City from Europe. When he remarks on Vicky's jewelry, he draws Bruce's attention. When he inquires about Bruce's job, Bruce shows him the most recent solar energy storage project. Dracula secludes Bruce using his mind control abilities in order to feast on him after succumbing to his need. But before Dracula gets a chance to eat Bruce, Alfred locates his master Wayne, foiling his scheme. A furious Dracula watches as Bruce emerges from his sleep and goes to find Dr. Alucard since he is certain that he had something to do with it and has to find a new victim to feed on. In the cellar, he feasts on a waiter employee. While Bruce searches through the throng for Dr. Alucard and finds him leaving the estate, Alfred alerts Bruce that something is strange about the aforementioned waiter. Following closely behind him, he arrives at the door and discovers that Alucard has disappeared. He observes a large bat, though, flying away from the home. This is the turning point in his understanding of Dr. Alucard's identity. He draws Alucard's name on a serving dish using borrowed lipstick from a visitor, reflecting it so Alfred can see that it spells Dracula. Together with Alfred, Batman conducts research on the legendary vampire ruler Dracula in his Batcave. Batman visits his father's large library in search of an antidote for the converted vampires as well as to come up with a strategy to fight Dracula out of concern that he would raise an army of vampires. While reading up on articles on Bruce Wayne because she is convinced that there is more to him than what the eye can see, Vicky gets an urgent call from the office. She then speaks with a witness who is adamant he saw a bat at the scene of the kidnapping. The authorities accuse Batman of being responsible for the disappearances of Gotham City residents. As they watch the news, the Penguins make fun of Dracula's actions and how Batman is to blame, but Dracula is attracted by Vicky and wants to wed her. 
Batman tries to find out what's going on and decides to start with Dracula's first victim, the cemetery night watchman, who vanished first. He travels to the graveyard in pursuit of the vampires, but is unable to find them since a SWAT squad is after him and thinks he is responsible for the kidnappings. He succeeds in getting away, and the SWAT finds him hiding in an abandoned building. However, when Dracula exploits this ambush and kills them all, they start going missing one by one. In his full form, Dracula appears behind Batman and invites him to join his legion. Batman declines to support him. The two bats start fighting when Dracula declares he will defeat Batman. Batman is powerless against Dracula's superhuman strength, despite his weapons being tainted with garlic. Dracula is ready to kill Batman when the dawn begins to rise over the horizon, causing him to flee into the dim alley and vanish while pledging to kill Batman the next time they cross paths. Alfred attends to Batman's wounds before he goes back to the Batcave. The Penguin is shocked to discover Joker, who survived the electrocution he caused himself, while he is on his way to wake up his master. Despite the Penguin's warning, the Joker decides that the Penguin is keeping the promised riches a secret from him and enters Dracula's lair, where he falls prey to the vampire. Batman is informed that there has been a breach at the blood bank, and he is all too certain that a vampire is to blame. He goes there to track out the Joker, who is now a vampire and is thought to be the burglar. Following a struggle, Batman successfully subdues the Joker with the garlic bombs, capturing him to develop a cure for vampirism. While Alfred realizes that Dracula once had a wife, Carmilla Karnstein, who perished from exposure to sunlight, Batman tests on the Joker in an effort to find a suitable treatment. Batman ultimately comes up with a solution, heals the Joker, and he tells Batman where Dracula is. Batman notes that the antidote also erases the Joker's memories of being a vampire. As he prepares to eliminate the villain ruining his name and the city, Batman returns the Joker to Arkham Asylum and creates an endless supply of the antidote. Bruce is advised by Alfred to approach Dracula after daylight in order to gain the upper hand. Bruce completely forgets Vicky was coming over for supper on Saturday night because he is so engrossed in his study. As a result, he sends Alfred to let her know that he would be working late. She waits for a long time, but when she sees that he's not coming, she tells Alfred to go because it's becoming late. She runs across Dracula, who is pretending to be Dr. Alucard, after missing her train, and politely refuses his offer of companionship. She gives Bruce a ring and mentions in her voicemail who she ran into. She doesn't reply when Bruce phones her back. At the expo party, Bruce recalled Alucard showing a lot of interest in Vicky, which confirmed his suspicion that Dracula had truly abducted Vicky. Batman arrives in the Gotham Cemetery in a race against time, and fortunately, the Joker's tracks lead him to Dracula's catacomb where the vampire is attempting to raise his wife from her ashes by using Vicky's spirit as a conduit. Dracula orders his men to capture Batman after learning of the Dark Knight's arrival. Batman starts injecting the antidote that renders the ravenous vampires harmless after finding himself surrounded by them. He heads to Dracula with the last antidote he has. Batman starts to direct the antidote towards Dracula, while the latter uses his hypnotic abilities to attempt to take control of Batman's thoughts. Batman struggles against it but ultimately yields, and the antidote is destroyed as it hits the earth. Batman ultimately manages to burst out of Dracula's grip on his mind thanks to his rigorous training, surprising Dracula. When the resurrection ceremony is interrupted by Batman, Vicky awakens to find Batman standing at her side. Dracula swears he will feed on Vicky after being devastated to lose his wife once more. While he fights in the decisive battle with the angry Dracula, Batman commands Vicky to flee for safety. The Penguin pursues Vicky as she makes an effort to leave the cemetery because he doesn't want her to escape his master Dracula's grasp. When Vicky enters a tomb, the Penguin finds the riches that was promised there, but because Dracula is in possession of his thoughts, all he can think about is getting Vicky back to his master. Dracula is kept on his toes by Batman, who follows his meticulously planned route through the underground with Alfred's assistance and ultimately leads him to his Batcave. Dracula, believing himself to be invulnerable, is unable to prevent Alfred from administering the antidote to him. He mocks them nevertheless, since a supernatural entity could never be fixed by an antidote. Alfred is struck and knocked to the ground. Batman manipulates Dracula into following him to the room housing the solar energy storing equipment, and once Dracula is in place, Batman beams sunlight at him, destroying Dracula. Batman responds that he is the sole Batman in Gotham City when Dracula understands, just before he passes away that Batman is Bruce Wayne, the Penguin's master, who has now passed away, no longer has power over his thoughts. Vicky escapes his grasp, and he quits hunting her. The brilliance of all the gold in the vault draws his attention away from the fact that he has discovered the much sought-after treasure. The SWAT squad catches the Penguin, much to his chagrin, while Vicky flees for safety. 
The media accuses the Penguin of trying to recover Mafia riches by kidnapping people and forcing them to look for it while under his sway. He is dragged away and once more imprisoned at Arkham Asylum. Thanks to its superhero, the Dark Knight, peace is once again restored in Gotham City once Batman's reputation has been cleaned up, and this is how the story concludes.